habitual and conditioned responses to money as appropriate. I dissolve my habitual and conditioned responses to money as appropriate. I dissolve. Hello, everyone. My name is Malik L, certified fitness trainer. Um, also host for Health Awareness Talk for www.sirbroadcast.com. Um, on this sh on this show today, um, I'm real happy to introduce and also to interview uh, Terry Mahoney, Ph.D. Um, she has a change your life, change your mind, change your life tape series. Um, I got it back when I was in the 90s. Now I'm gonna put a picture on. I'm gonna put a picture of it of the tape series right here. Now this is tape, okay? So this means this is real old. This is back when I was in the 90s, all right? Now the amazing thing about that is back then I was scared of spiders. And I listened to her tape about releasing your fears, releasing phobias and stuff. And when I was at my job and I went to that one space down, that one basement space where all those spiders and stuff, I just uh, went by and I just barely noticed them. I mean, it kind of bothered me just a little bit. but. It didn't really, you know, I didn't jump or just try to just stay away from it and everything. I just did my job like nothing happened. So, uh, I found out that to be very interesting. And I purchased some more of her tapes. And I found some more interesting things. Like, I had the ability to walk up to other people and just hold a conversation with them. Whereas before, that I wasn't able to. I was always like an introvert. Always kept into myself. I went ahead and got my driver's license. Uh, I had another phobia back when I was a child that I ran into a ditch in a go-kart and was afraid of driving and I lost my fear while listening to that tape and I started drive I started taking driving lessons and you know eventually I got my car and went on with that so I found uh, I listened to her self-empowerment series and instead of just taking my weight training you know like a hobby I started taking it real seriously and to this day I'm able to bench 405 and do 80 to 100 one-arm push-ups on each side and I think a lot of it has to do with um, Miss Terry Mahaney's um, technology of super sleep. Do I think it works? Uh, yes, I definitely do. Let me give you a little bit more information about it um, from LinkedIn. Um, let's see, go back one. Now, the most interesting thing I find out about Terry is that she has a PhD like in leadership and also that um, she works with professional football players and professional NFL players. and. You got to know what you're doing when those dealing with those people because it's always results. Now, as he's a brain state expert of change your mind, change your life from 85 to his present, which is 25, 29 years. Change your mind is the real deal for brain change in the areas of empowerment, relationships, success, money, student, performance, parenting, spirituality, wellness, and healing. Uh, Terry has a PhD and he uh, has a PhD, like I said, in leadership and is created of Change Your Life, combines the power of years of her own research, client observation. All right, well, you can read all that in Terry Mahoney, um, P um, Terry Mahoney LinkedIn for Change Your Mind, Change Your Life. Now, what's more interesting to me is that Anthony Robbins, and most of y'all out there may know who he is, said that Dr. Mahoney's, Mahoney's methods work like magic and that they're effortless hmm. and I got to totally agree with Mr. Anthony Robbins because they actually work for me now everyone I'm introducing Miss Miss um, Terry Mahaney of change your mind change your life or super sleep Terry what a fabulous introduction and I had not heard these stories before about your fears of the spiders and the driving and what makes that even more fun for me is I have a CD, and now they are CDs. We've both been around <laughs> since the eighth days. <laughs> Their CDs are actually <laughs> going to MP3s. Um, and I actually have a recording to dispel fear, which you didn't listen to. Right. That so, was So to me, it's even so much fun that you got those fantastic results with fears, and you didn't even listen to the fear CD, which 
absolutely is one of the things I say to people about working in the theta brainwave state. They will ask me to predict results, and I will tell them, when you're working in theta, you can't predict. I, I can predict change. I can predict improvement. And I've been doing it enough years, I can give an educated guess. But I really cannot predict all of the good things that will happen. I just can't. Okay, that is absolutely one of the amazing things I thought. You said you work with uh, Anthony Robbins. Mm-hmm. Uh, could you, can you tell us a little more of that? Yes, he has a group called the Platinum Group that meet with him four times a year, and they come in from all over the world, and he brings in people like me to talk to him and to talk to them. And I was one of the people that he invited in to spend the five days with him. It was in Las Vegas the year that I went. And so a bunch of his uh, Platinum Group worked with me in my program, and Tony worked with my program. He got the, um, gosh, were they tapes in those days? I think it was. He got the tapes and listened to the tapes as well. Oh, that is super. I think the first thing I remember after reading your book in uh, Super Learning, uh, reading about you in Super Learning 2000, I went on and read one of the testimonials that said that this man had was in a car accident a long time ago, and he started listening yep. to a healing series, and it actually put he it actually uh, he had glass that was in his forehead that actually pushed itself out. And I'll tell you what's even better than that. I didn't even have the healing and wellness series then. Uh huh. <laughs> Same. So, I mean, yeah. So yeah. here we go again. <laughs> uh, I, I call him Roger in my book so he, he can keep his anonymity. But I give him such credit because working with him is what really taught me how powerful the method was. I'd had good results with people before that, actually. I was having amazing results. Mm -hmm. But this guy came in. Um, now, and I'll tell you how long ago that was. I didn't make uh, products for the public until 1992. Mm -hmm. So that was seven years that I worked one-on-one -on -one with people. And how the program started out is, let's say you had a fear of spiders, and you'd come to me, and you would say, Terry, I've got a fear of spiders. I would handwrite on a pink pad a, a personal script for you, give you the script, and you'd take it home with one of my sound over sound recording machines. I had 11 of them, and they just checked in and out like library books. And you would record it in your voice, my script in your voice, and you would sleep to it for 10 days, and then you would report back to me. And if you didn't get your results, I would keep working with you until you did. It was like a one-price deal. Mm. You know, you paid me, and you and I worked together until you got it. And what's interesting is in all those years, I never had anybody come back. I was very lucky. We, we, we nailed it on the first recording without exception, so I, I was very lucky. But when this man came in, he was working on business communication. He wasn't even working on health. Same but he here. was bald, and he had these little red spots on his head. And I said, mm -hmm. what's on your head? He said, well, I keep hitting my head. And I said, well, let's write a script. You want to write a script for that? And he nah. I said, well, let's throw it in. It only takes 24 seconds. And so I put something in there about, you know, he stopped hitting his head. And I said, well, why don't we see if we can clear up those red spots? And this was the first time I had ever used a healing statement. And I put in the statement, my head is now completely healed. Mm -hmm. And as you said, and then what happened is he started floating glass out the top of his head that was left over from his accident seven years before. He started having this stuff come out, and he went to the doctor, and the doctor said, wow, what are you doing? This is old glass floating out. And I'm telling you, the client, the doctor, and I were all equally shocked. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Absolutely shocked. And that's but what he so was me. The one that Yeah, he was the one that taught me the absolute power of the program. Hmm. That was, like I said, that's one of the things that sold me. And also another thing is, is that... Previously back during that time, uh, I was going through a bunch of uh, trying to find some self-improvement tapes. And you also was like the only feminine, or you were the only lady doing anything uh, for self-improvement. And I got an issue like listening from guys. I mean, who wants to be listening to a guy all the time? I listen to guys all the time doing work, okay? <laughs> so I didn't want to go to sleep with a guy talking to me in my head. So uh, that was also another thing that attracted me to your program. And, you know, maybe a lot of, a lot of other guys out there may feel like that. They, I mean, I was raised to always, like, listen to my mother. My mother was always right. the one to give me the advice and always the one that was nurturing and always the one that was loving me and everything was dad dad on the other hand you know he was the one who was provider and all this he said something you just do it you know but it was a more like of a fear 
type of thing and respect type of thing. So just going to sleep every night, just hearing your voice and, you know, and just being, re, you know, just giving, you, giving me those positive affirmations and everything was exactly what I needed in, the, in order to help me to get through some troubling times in life. And I thank you for that, Terry. Oh, you're very welcome. And I'll tell you what is, um, I'm going to use the word disturbing to me, is because all of the products out there are in the male voice, they are not effective. Uh, They are not as effective as they could be, and let me tell you why. Because of the way the brain is wired, you know, the first voice that the child hears is in utero, in the womb at four months when the little ear starts, you know, developing, and that brain can start registering sounds, and that's the mother's voice. Mm Mm-hmm. So the brain is already entrained to the mother's voice, the gotcha. female voice. Oh, wow. So the most po- yeah, so the most powerful voice a person can hear in theta is the mother's voice. Mm-hmm. And as you said, I've worked with athletes. and I worked with a wrestling team one year, and their very first year in existence, they took number two in the nation, and their coach took coach of the year. And I published the wrestling script I used. It's in my book. Mm-hmm. And uh, so a couple of people contacted me and said, I, you know, I'm a mother and my son's a wrestler, and w- what do you think? And I said, well, I think you should record the script. It's in, uh, in those days, I didn't have the book. I just mailed it to them. Mm-hmm. And I said, mm-hmm. I'll just mail you the script, and you record it in your voice. And both of those boys went to the state championship. Both wow. of those boys took state champion uh, two years in a row, one the first year and the, and the other one the second year, listening to their mother's voice. Wow. Then yeah. the, the next piece is, so then the next most powerful voice is your voice. Mm-hmm. And the third most powerful voice is my voice or a woman's voice. And the fourth most powerful voice is a man's voice. And for most women, the man's voice doesn't work. Whatever the man tells them to do, they'll do the opposite. <laughs> we have, it's in my book. We have a research project on that that was done in Colorado for weight loss. Mm-hmm. And it was subliminal. It wasn't like mine. It wasn't where you could hear the voice. You could only hear the music. Mm-hmm. And one group was told that there were subliminals on weight loss. And I mean, all three groups were told they were listening to a subliminal for weight loss. Mm-hmm. The first group had a male voice. The second group had a male and female voice. The third group had music only. And the least weight loss was to the male voice. Wow, that's amazing. They even, they even had weight gain because, like you said, if, if the male told them what to do, they went, eh, I'll do the, I'm tired of being told what to do. I'll Rebellious. do the opposite of that. Yeah. And they went into uh, rebellion. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's just like absolutely totally amazing. Now, over the years, you know, working as a personal trainer, hypnotist, and other mm-hmm. things, I've been telling people about your technology and what it's done for me and how, it's, how, it's, how it has helped. And especially with the mothers out there, and I tell them, I say, if you have problem with your children, it's nothing more. Pro- it's nothing more powerful, or mo- nothing more powerful that you can do for them as a gift is to take your uh is to take super sleep or to take the scripts and things and put it in the format so that your kids can listen to it while they while they're asleep so that they got those positive affirmations running through their heads mm-hmm. all night to become better people in life mm-hmm. i agree with you completely and i actually ask anyone that's in a family that they just run them through the house my standard line is why would you want one person in your house to heal and not want everybody to mm-hmm, heal mm-hmm. and i keep my uh player here in my living room and i play my cds here in the living room and they run down the hall to the two bedrooms my my room and uh i have my grandson i'm raising my grand and, and he's 13 and they run to his room and now he's been on these since he was what two three years old mm-hmm. and, and, and he, he's doing fine Wow. I mean, and every time he has an issue, you know, I'll say, well, what do you want to listen to next? And he'll tell me. Okay. And then we just put that on. He's a basketball player. He's an up-and-coming young track star. He just just ran a 5K and took uh, number two. He had the number two time in his age group. And the age group, he had the number two time up to 30 years of age. He's 13. Wow, that is so super. Now, you just introduced a new um, line of products uh, for increasing your running speed. Could you tell us more about Mm -hmm. that? Oh, I'd love to. Um, In the spring, as you say, I work with athletes. And in the spring, I had a client, a marathoner, an athlete, and she was having a whole bunch of issues and, you know, falling down by the track. And she just had stuff going on. So we got her started on the CDs. And her next race, she cut 15 minutes off of her marathon. And as you know, as a trainer, that's a lot of time. She was way happy. And she said, you've got to do something for runners. And I said, oh, no. I said, you have no idea. Because I do so 
much research. Yes, you do. And people often say to me, how can these things work? Well, they've got everything going for them. They've got the brain research going. They've got, you know, my, the music. They've got my years of experience. But also, I research every word mm-hmm. of those scripts. Mm-hmm. And I told her, I said, oh, it's just too much trouble. I said, I'll be honest, I just don't want to work that hard. Well, then she and a couple of other runners kept talking to me. And to make a long story short, I said, okay, okay, okay. And uh, these are shorter. My usual uh, uh, CDs are 180 statements, and these are 100. But I have eight, which uh, I've had them reviewed by runners. Everybody's feeling pretty good about them. Uh, But it starts with your first step for runners, and that's your basic change, self-esteem, Uh, just to lay the foundation down. And then there's uh, planning, which talks about planning your scheduling, planning your runs, planning your program, setting your priorities, having your time set aside for it. And then motivating, you know, that you stay motivated, that you stay positive self-talk to yourself, uh, and that you stay motivated to do your runs, motivated during your runs. Mm -hmm. And then training, that you pick the right training program, you pick the right coach, you train at the right times, the right ways, and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. And then running, your actual running um, MP3, and then uh, racing for those who are competitive racers, Mm -hmm. and then fueling to make sure that you're getting the right nutrition, you're eating the right things, you're eating at the right times, the right ways, and how you fuel for your races. And then the last one is recovering, so that you give yourself time to rest and recover and also have some of the healing stuff in there so you can accelerate your healing process. Oh, that's... So we're just getting those up this week. Uh, As a matter of fact, I think the last two MP3s will probably go up on the webpage this week. Okay, and what's the name of that website for the running? It is Train Your Brain for Runners. Okay, super. Train Your Brain. I know it's... I know it's a long web page, but I wanted to, you know, I wanted it to be really specific of what it was. Okay, that sounds super because we got a lot of people here who's going about to start the New Year's resolutions, and right. who's training for these marathons, training for running, and I guess it's going to help you to lo- like to love running more, right? Uh, well, you know the way all my I like to think my products work. If you're supposed to run, you'll love it more. You'll do it better. Uh, you'll do it more effectively, and if you don't love it and you're not supposed to run, you will gracefully quit and never look back. <laughs> wow, uh, it's either or. You know, I like that, that. that. Yeah, that's the way I like to do it. Um, and you, one of the things I put on my scripts, which you you know, is I will say things like, you know, I um, uh, I I I race competitively, but then I add this line called as appropriate. Mm-hmm. And that way the person's brain gets to tell them whether they're supposed to. I'm not going to tell somebody whether or not they should race competitively, but I am going to give them a script that sets their brain up to tell them what is best for them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So that's how they're written. Okay, can you tell us anything about the uh, NFL, NBA athletes you worked with and what type of results that you got for them? Oh, absolutely. I'll start with my NBA kid because he's how I got into working with professional athletes. It was, uh, I think, 11 years ago now. And he called me, and he had just not his, he had a three-year contract to play, and he had not been picked up. He had not played well. He had not performed. As a matter of fact, I think there are, what, is it 368, I think, NBA players? He was ranked number 368. Wow. And they had jokes on the Internet that maybe his coach could trade him for a bag of Dorito chips. <laughs> okay. So, as you can see, his career was not flourishing. Mm-hmm. I see. <laughs> he, he was not positioned well for the future. I think that's a pretty safe thing to say. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And uh, he came to me in May, told me the situation, and I didn't know anything about that. I learned from every one of my clients. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. We entered into a performance contract, so I don't do just single CDs with them. I do performance performance contract where we can really get together and work together. I talk to their coaches. I have their coaches tell me, you know, why, where they're performing, where they're not performing, etc. Mm-hmm. And he told me, I said, well, what have we got? And he said, well, for me to get picked up, I need to play well at summer camp, which is I it was in Orlando, Florida that year. And I flew out to the camp and watched him play, and he played. He was statistically number one in the summer camp. He did get picked up. He got a contract. And uh, he played here in the United States for quite a while, and then he played. He wasn't quite good enough, frankly, Mm -hmm. to stay at the NBA, but we kept him. uh, We worked together, as I said, for the six months, 
and he was able to lay a good enough foundation. He stayed as a professional foot, uh, excuse me, basketball player for 10 years. He played in China. He played in France. He played all over the place, and he played regularly. Mm. And what was so sweet is last summer I got a phone call. He said, do you remember me? I said, of course I remember you. He said, well, I have been playing. I said, what have you been doing? He said, I've been playing basketball. I said, where? And he told me. And he flew out with his wife and two children uh, and took me out to dinner so that I could meet his family. He was retiring from basketball, and he wanted to thank me. Wow, that is absolutely amazing. Can we know which team he played for without knowing and um, putting out a name? Uh, he was with uh, New Orleans. His okay. first contract after he uh, was bounced from his team, we the first contract we got him was with New Orleans. And again, I don't you know give names, but mm -hmm. if I give enough details, people can usually find them. But uh, I was just so heartened that he came out to see me. It was just a beautiful, uh, you know, was just, I, I love what I do. Oh, I love so cool. what I do. So cool. <laughs> I love <laughs> what I do, you know. Uh, I, I, when I was in high school and took all the career tests, they told me I was supposed to be an attorney, and I signed up for law school and after college and the whole thing, and it didn't work out. I didn't go, and I'm so glad I didn't go because I would have been, dealing with people arguing all the time and instead I get to deal with people healing all the time. It's, it's, a much, it's a much better place for me. Okay, so Terry, are you saying that this guy went from being 368 or whatever, the very last to being the very first one, his training thing, and a lot of that got to do with your uh, tapes? With your, he, um, was number, he was number one statistically in summer camp. Now let me uh -huh. be clear that I'm not, I'm not exaggerating. Summer camp is where the free agent players go mm -hmm. that don't have contracts, mm -hmm. and they play against each other in a little high school gym, mm -hmm. and the agents come and look to see if there's any one of them they want to pick up, and he was statistically number one in that camp, and he was picked up. Okay, and what was he before again? Uh, he, he was... The rank the lowest in the NBA. He was ranked the lowest in the NBA before starting with you. And when you got a hold right. of him and you start working with him, and then he aced he aced that training camp. That's right, and that was between May and 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 uh, July. And I'm here to tell you that I I was sweating. <laughs> I'll, I'll be the I'll be the first to tell you. I told him I said you have not given me enough time. I am not sure I can pull this out. It takes at least thirty days. For me to work with your brain, I can only get wow. two, you know, two recordings done between. I mean, I was sweating it. You oh, you did that in as little as thirty days. May to July. Wow. Yeah, I was sweating. I <laughs> bet you were thirty days. That's the thirty days from going from last to first or the or the or the, or the top. Uh, man, that's totally amazing, Terry. I, I was. I'm, I'm good. Yes, you are. <laughs> yes, you are. I got to give it to you. I'm okay, good. anybody I'm listening good, out there, I hope y'all take that to heart. Okay, well, that was a good for you, um, train train your brain for runners. Let's hear another story about professional athlete. Uh, my NFL, my most recent, I had an NFL client about eight years ago, My most, but he had a knee injury, and he wanted back in, and he had all the best doctors and all that. And uh, that was a healing story. He didn't end up. Uh, he didn't end up back in the NFL. Interestingly, he ended up doing um, uh, physical therapy. He got mm -hmm. so into it with the work that uh, he did with his knee. Anyway, blew his knee out. They had the best doctors and whatever. And he came to me and he said, "I need this knee," you know. And, and again, he gave me like four weeks. And I said, "I don't know what I can do in four weeks." I mean, you're talking about physical healing. You're not talking about changing your mind. You're mm -hmm. talking about physical healing. But he brought me this big, thick textbook that the doctors had written. And again, I learned from everybody I work with. And so now I had a whole new script about, you know, electrical energy traveling down the spine. And, you know, I, I just got a whole lot of new scripting out of it. Um, but I kept telling him, I said, I think that injury's in your hip. It's not in your knee. And he said, no, I've got the best doctors in the world. They said it's in my knee. I said, no, it's in your hip. And I have a series of questions that I've learned to ask over the years where I can get into the issues pretty fast. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And one of the first things, just for you and for your listeners, if you have a major issue, the first thing to ask yourself is, what, does this have, what, what was happening in my life when I was 10 years of age that this could be in relationship wow. to? For some reason, 10 years of age is a real lock-in time. So I asked him, I said, do you mind if I ask what you were doing when you were 10? And he said, well, I was one of 10 boys, 10 children, 
and he said uh, we all played football and he said we were in a you know lower income area and we played in the street we didn't have dirt and we didn't have grass we didn't have a nice park or playground and we played in the street and he said when i was 10 i broke my hip i was in the hospital and uh, with a broken hip i said really i said is that by any chance the hip on the same side of this knee that went out and he said yes and so we did a healing on his hip Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. as well as his knee Mm -hmm. and three days into his custom cd his hip spontaneously rotated back in wow that's that glass thing again true story Uh, true story you know my standard line is people say you're kidding and i said could i make this up no (laughs) he couldn't so which team did he play for uh you know, I don't even remember. It okay. was eight years ago. Right. I'm embarrassed to tell you. I work with these athletes, but I'm, I, I don't watch games. You don't watch I, I don't, got you. I, I have, got you. I have no background. You know, and, and if they come and tell me, I don't even ask those questions. Mm-hmm. All I need mm-hmm. to know is what objectives, what are your objectives? What's, what's, the, what's in between you and your objectives? What do you need to do to get to your objectives? That's I know. all I need to know. I know. Right now, we got Cam Newton down here in Charlotte, North Carolina, uh, playing for the mm-hmm. Carolina Panthers. And he got, like, some bruised ribs, and he got, like, a twisted ankle or half his ankles messed up and stuff. I would love for him to somehow hear about this program and for the coaches for the Carolina Panthers to hear about your program and maybe they can do something for a winning season. So I would you, really you want to you, you want to have some fun? Just buy him the advanced healing CD. It's thirty five bucks and send it to him as a gift. Oh yes, if he uses it, that'd be fun. <laughs> and also, and also, I hate to say, Tiger Woods. Somebody please get this information to him to see if he could try. <laughs> You know, and you are so right about that, and I love to work with anyone who would love to work with me, but I, as you know, I don't do any marketing. You heard about me from the Super Learning 2000. Exactly. I do zero marketing. Everything, everybody that comes to me is word of mouth. Mm -hmm. And the reason for that is in the first, you know, five years when I was trying to get the program out there and I did marketing, nobody believed me. Mm Mm-hmm. You know, it's a little too good to believe, I'll be honest. It's just a little too good to believe. And nobody believed me. And also because the research and the technology is not um, mainstream. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And so, frankly, I just wait. You know, people say, oh, how do you market? And I said, my telephone rings. People hear about me and they call me. Okay, that is absolutely terrific. Uh, Terry, besides yourself, have you trained anybody to uh, do what you're doing? That Thank you, would you for recommend? asking me that question. I, I did in the very beginning, I used to do facilitator training, and of the four people I trained, not one went into the business. So I considered that not successful. The other day, my grandson said to me, Wa, I'm worried about you dying. And I said, Tyler, I'm not going to die anytime soon. I've exactly. got a long life. My family comes from, none of us die until we're in our 90s. Mm-hmm. And he said, no, no. He said, it's not like that. He said, you help so many people and nobody else knows how to do it exactly and so i have set the goal that in the next two years i will either get into a training set up a training program or i will do something to support people being able to put this into their business Mm -hmm. i just haven't taken that step yet but you are absolutely right it you know i'm old uh, and it is time we for me <laughs> to have some more people that can do that. Yeah, because I think that type of technology would be great if we can incorporate that into a, a sports settings. You know, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and that'll really uh, confirm of uh, a confirmation of what you are actually doing. And then from there, they actually can spread on from other people if these uh, NFL, NBA players and these coaches would just work with you and give you more time than just 30 days. And then probably have a facilitator on staff for doing that type of stuff. I'll tell you one of my goals is to find a team that would like me to come in as, for, for want of better words, their team psychologist, mm-hmm. and would bring me in and let me work with the whole team, first with uh, creating custom CDs for the team, what they want the team to do, but then any time they had a player who had an issue to let me work with that individual player. Yeah, and I'm praying it's the Carolina Panthers who takes advantage of that opportunity that you just put out there. So, <laughs> just to see what I'd would happen. Love to do it. Yeah, uh, definitely, definitely. And also, uh, like I said, if Tiger Woods, um, if you should happen to hear this, I hope you also, also give Terry an opportunity to do this as well. So, um, okay, getting off your um, train your brain for runners and also the invitation for any NFL or professional 
a team out there who wants to put super learning, change your mind, change your life, Miss Terry Mahani, PhD, to the test, okay, to see if this really works, you know. Uh, let's go on to something that's really close to both of our hearts is, uh, boom, you got a, created a foundation um, called Healing Bullying. I did. I created a nonprofit, and of course, again, that started at home. My grandson was being bullied, and uh, and that's very difficult for young people, as you can imagine. It was two years ago, and so of course, I did what I do. I made a CD for him, a little custom CD, and dropped it on behind him for you know while he slept, and he he was able to get past that and beyond it. His grade point average went up about 1.5 you know points and and he's got good friends now and he's okay with that Mm -hmm. Uh, he was able to heal that experience and he said to me you know why you've got to help other kids like you helped me Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and this was this was a couple years ago and i said the same thing i said oh you've got to be kidding it takes so much work (laughs) (laughs) you can you can you can tell I've made my own CDs for myself that I'm I used to be a total type A mm-hmm, you know I was mm-hmm. a total driving type A always had two careers going and you can tell I've done all my own CDs that say I relax I live life easy anyway and uh, so I did and so I have six MP3s they are downloadable for the internet for free so anyone listening if you have a young person in wow. the house whether or not they have been bullied or if you have been bullied as an adult and you you had those experiences as a child just pull these down off the internet for free for free um, for free you just download the things and listen there's a word for word script right there on the internet you can listen on the internet so you know what what they sound like before you download them um, and there are six topics on that, and I think the most important one in that is, of course, I feel good about myself. And I tell when people email me now for my CDs and ask questions, I always say to them, why don't you get started on I Feel Good About Myself, which you can download for free from the Internet. Right. And, so- you know, that, that's a no. There's, I don't know anybody that couldn't use that. But the, those six are um, I Stand Up to Bullying, mm-hmm. um, I'm Over the Hurt, Mm-hmm. I feel good about myself. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm smart about social media. And again, I think every person on the planet should listen to I'm smart about social media. Mm-hmm. I get along at school and I hang out with the right kids. Mm-hmm. And that will support any any person. I mean, some of them, you know, are, are good for all adults, too. Mm-hmm. But that will support any student at any level, especially I get along at school where it talks about, um, you know, doing better in school. Oh. And those are available for free. Okay. And now, getting it for free off the Internet, could you get, um, tell us exactly where to go to for that? Healbullying.com. Uh, excuse me, dot .org. Nonprofits are dot .org. Okay. That's www.heal, that's spelled H-E-A-L, bullying, B-U-L-L-Y-I-N-G, dot .org. And from there, they're able to download for free six... Yes. Of six titles that actually help your kids or anyone to get over bullying. Am I correct? Yes, that is correct. A super. Also, Terry, also was close to my heart because I had a few friends um, in the past that this happened, you know, that this actually happened to is domestic violence. Would those tapes, would those um, downloads also be good for that as well? They'd be excellent for domestic violence and especially, well, especially all of them would, but the I'm over the hurt, I stand up to bullying, I'm over the hurt. Uh, I feel good about myself. Excellent, excellent, excellent. I've worked with, unfortunately, a lot of domestic violence because mm-hmm. there's a lot of it. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and really getting the self-esteem to stand up to it is very, very important. To me, domestic violence and PTSD kind of go hand in hand, the way that trauma locks into the brain, into the theta brainwave state. Mm-hmm. Very, very traumatic experiences. And uh, I did research on PTSD. I work with a, quite a few PTSD clients. So Could you tell us what uh, PTSD is for those who don't know? Thank you very much for asking me to clarify that. Post-traumatic stress syndrome. Uh, I'm sorry, they call it disorder. Some call it syndrome. And there's a big debate. I've gone to conferences and whatever. And there's even a big debate over that language, over whether it should be called a disorder because, you know, people just are debating that. Mm -hmm. And, of course, and all of that's important, and I'm not taking away from people who have their opinions. I just jump right over that and say, I don't care what you call it. I just want to heal it. There you go. 
you know, call it anything you want to, call it a flying red flag. I don't care what you call it. I, just let me get to the other side and get my hands on these people so that I can give them some help and some support. Mm-hmm. And when I was studying that, it was very interesting to me that the smallest percentage of PTSD in the United States is military. Mm-hmm. The smallest percentage. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. that most PTSD in the United States is, like you said, from domestic violence and from other traumatic events. But they say, like, it's the number one killer of women is domestic violence. Mm -hmm. You know, as far as, you know, uh, women getting killed and stuff by in these relationships and stuff. So um, let's say if you're a woman or if you're a guy, (laughs) you know, Mm -hmm. because it happened to guys too. um, That's correct. If you in that particular situation and you were with your partner, your loved one, or whoever that you're with in that situation with, how would you go about using those tapes? Boy, that's, uh, thank you for asking the question. That's a loaded question because if, if it's really, really severe, the person needs out of there. Mm-hmm. And they may need to use the CDs to get the strength and courage to get out of there. Mm-hmm. Uh, if the if the partner is willing to work to change the dynamic, if the abusive partner is willing to do some healing as well, then they can listen to CDs together. Mm-hmm. If the abusive partner is not willing to listen, then it's a question of getting the abused partner into a position to say, I'm out of here. Right. But- if this dynamic doesn't change... I'm out of here. And I know the number one reason most women uh, don't leave abusive relationships, according to the research, is, is financial, frankly. Exactly. They, you know, it's like, where am I going to go? And, and everybody says, well, you can go to a safe center. You know, you can take you and your kids. You can get to the center. But the question is, where do I go when I leave the center? Okay, yeah. So, so, so do I go from being abused to homeless, and you think that's better? <laughs> you uh, know. So, there's just so much going on in that issue. It's a very, uh, I appreciate your saying it's close to your heart. It's a very important, complex issue. Um, yeah. It's not one that I have, I've worked with individual clients, but it's not one that I've done a lot of work in because there's so many pieces out on it. Well, you know, yeah. how do I get that, that abused partner, mm-hmm. you know, how do I get them their next life? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Their job, their home, you know, where do they take their kids? You know, how do you get that next piece put in place? That's a tough one. Right. And I think, uh, the, I mean, you got to hear the bullying part. Now, if the man, the man or the abusive partner was to know what was going on with that, they, I think that they'd be a little bit more abusive for somebody using some type of mind control on them. But, um, I mean, if they're accepting of it, then that's something that you can actually work on. Now, I recommend, I, well, I say for most people, if they listen to that type, is your two tapes uh, being proactive and also opening yourself to wealth, Terry, because if they're both uh, listening to your tapes together in order to learn how to make money, it put the person who's being abused in a point to where uh, they can get out of the relationship. And maybe also some healing going on as well on um, on both accounts. What do you think? Mm-hmm. Uh, it, those are excellent, excellent, excellent. And again, it, it would depend on if you wanted to start to put the self-esteem piece in place first or the um, get out. I also have one called Achieve Right Livelihood, which mm-hmm. is how you choose your job, interview for the job, and get the right job. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm going to hesitate on you because usually what happens is if I talk to the person or, or hear from the person, I can more, I can match the CDs to them a little more easily uh, than generically. Mm-hmm. Uh, but generically, again, I think the self-esteem piece has to go into place first because think about, and I don't want to get personal about it, but you mentioned Tiger Woods. Think about how many people who have everything and still sabotage. Yeah, but you know, it was uh, being a personal trainer over the years. I have cases where my um, clients, so female clients, and also a few guys, who uh, were in abusive relationships. So I have to tell them to be in. Um, uh, you have to do the, like essential oils, feng shui. Mm-hmm. Uh, box fly mm-hmm. remedies, things that they can use without their abusive partner knowing what they're doing mm-hmm. in order mm-hmm. not for that abusive partner to be getting even more threatening than what they have mm-hmm. um, before. 
So uh, that's why. I'll, I'll tell you one of the things I did that was interesting this spring, mm-hmm. and, and it was just an aside. It's not anything for my business, but mm-hmm. I went into a counseling center that uh, the county uh, certifies to work with abusers. These. Uh, fellows who have been given an option of a two-year treatment plan are going to jail. And mm-hmm. needless to say, they choose the two-year treatment program. Mm-hmm. And I went into three groups, and uh, I did a one-hour presentation on the brain. And I, I, I can do that pretty well, get people pretty interested in their brains. Told them a little bit about Theta, what it was all about. And they got to, they volunteered. They did a pre-test, post-test for me, and they listened to the MP3, I Feel Good About Myself, and we're tracking their changes, and they are huge. Mm. Now, this, this isn't the abused partner. This is the abusive partner. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And, and we are seeing huge, huge changes in their behavior. Mm-hmm. Just listening to the, and this is the same one that's available for free on the internet. Wow! And they are listening to "I Feel Good About Myself," and they are. Um, uh, I don't want to use the word healing because this isn't even the healing CDs, but they're coming mm-hmm. into more balance around that behavior. They're coming in more balance around that behavior. And like somebody wanted to debate me on that once, I tell them that bullying. Is like a contagious emotional disease. It's something that continually it uh, perpetuates itself. Is that when you victimize someone, sooner or later somebody goes on to victimize uh, someone mm-hmm. else, and the cycle it just keeps going. And somewhere it just has to be broken. Mm-hmm. I agree. Mm-hmm. So and, and that's why it's challenging. I know the schools are very challenged by this, and I volunteered last year at the schools. Um, regularly and went out on the lunch ground. Uh, the school where my kid goes now, I'm very pleased with. They're very proactive. Mm-hmm. And at lunch, they have five to six adults walking the grounds at all times. I mean, mm-hmm. nothing goes on. Mm-hmm. Now, there may be some verbal. Somebody may be able to say something, but nobody's touching anybody. I mean, we mm-hmm. are all out there walking. But I watch some of these kids, and I did have an op- a couple of opportunities to walk into kids and say that's unacceptable behavior. But you can just tell by looking, like you said, at these kids, they've been abused. Mm. That is you can so tell. sad. Mm-hmm. You can tell, but, you know, they've been victimized at home. And so, of course, they're going to come to school and do it. Well, not of course, but... It's contagious. It's, it, it, it's like you said, the cycle. It is a cycle. It's not, it's not a linear, straight line. It's a circle. Yes, it definitely is, and you know we're doing all that we can about that. So, if we have any of our listeners out there tonight who uh, want to download the CDs, uh, to download the information off the internet, again, that's www. Um, heal h e a l bullying b u l l y i n g. dot org. Just download the tapes off the internet for free, and just help your friends, help people from over the over help people in other organizations and spread the word around about super sleep and about um, different things. Anything you want to add um, else you want to add about heel bullying, Terry? I thank you so much for the support for that. I would just love every kid in America to be on these. It would change their entire futures. Okay, that's super. Okay, now going over towards your third cate- uh, third category, which is absolutely a lot, a lot of programs. We got originally what started um, you off, Terry, was uh, change your mind, change your life. And I'm going to go back and we'll go to your original website because mm-hmm. you got a lot of, a lot of things that you covered. Mm-hmm. You can tell I used to be type A, can't oh, you? Yeah, <laughs> that's okay. We need it. We need well, it. I'm, in uh, 1992, I dropped out and I moved to Sedona, Arizona, where mm-hmm. I lived for 17 years and developed the program. Mm-hmm. And I was, I was researching and, and loving it. Let me tell you, this was a complete joy. I don't want to make this sound like work. Researching and reading and talking to people and looking at everything and putting these programs together. Originally, this is the universe's joke on me, <laughs> Uh, as I said, from 1985 uh, to 1992, I did not make a recording for the public. I never intended to. I mm-hmm. never intended to do this anyway. I, mm-hmm, you know, mm-hmm, you know it's an mm-hmm. accident. But um, 
to, in 1992, I finally said, okay, I'm going to do a product for the public, the Empowerment Series, and it's all I'll ever need. I, I never thought about doing anything else. Mm-hmm. Well, I finished the Empowerment Series, and I was living in Sedona, and I thought, you know what, that didn't deal with spirituality. So I did the Spirituality Series, and mm-hmm. then people kept calling me and saying, I need something for my relationship. So I did the two relationship series, and my clients were calling back and said, can't you do anything for money? And so I did the money series. And anyway, it just continued to develop. Yeah, so I got my sp- spiritualities, yeah. uh, the spirituality series, a preview, uh, uh, lecture explaining. Yeah, I got that one. I got the self-empowerment. I got this, uh, uh, the success ones. Yeah, I was on it. Wow. Yeah. Well, yeah. Good, good for you. Yes. And, and, you know, as I tell people, I said, you know, you have to understand, I've listened to all of these, too. You know, people say to me, if you wanted to make a million dollars, you'd do stop smoking. And my line is, I don't smoke. <laughs> She's so funny. I did, you know, I did, I did the first six series for me, people. <laughs> and what about this, uh, stop addiction? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't have a stop addiction. That well, doesn't well, have to be one of my problems. Yeah, you know, well, people, it's, people, it's, I mean, it's the same thing. What well, you think is one, it can actually heal others. A lot of people are addicted or just can't let go of certain things that are not good for them, regardless if it's alcohol, regardless if it's smoking, regardless if it's uh, being lustful, uh, you know, looking at being lewd or what you call it all the time we all have certain addictions i mean regardless of whatever you call it whatever the symptom is the actual root of it is your inability to let go that's something that is chaining you you know and that's why i liked about the sedona method and also with emotional freedom technique and stuff like that the root cause if you can learn what through via through super learn uh through via through uh, change your mind, change your life with super sleep or, or with ed- whatever things. Just simply how to just get into power to let go of things when you when you want to. You will gain so much more freedom in your not so much more freedom in your life. You know, as you're talking, I hadn't. Nobody just asked me the question before. You know, as I said, you have to ask me the question a lot of times for me to know what's in my head. Uh, if someone were to just call me, just you know, cold call me or send me an email and say, what do you recommend for addictions? And I just had to do a generic answer. This is what I think I would say. Mm-hmm. Go to the Healing and Wellness series. Get number one, open to healing, listen for 30 days. Get number two, balance your energy centers, listen to thir- for 30 days. Jump over to advanced healing and listen for one year. And I think you'd have a pretty good shot at it. There you go, everyone. You actually heard that. Okay, say that one more time. A lot, a little slower for people who's actually yes. trying to write this down. Sure, I'm, and I'm not making any guarantees because this isn't personalized to anybody. <laughs> but I would start with uh, go to the Healing and Wellness series and get Healing and Wellness, the first CD in there, and it is called Open to Healing. And listen for the, you know, the prescribed 30 nights. They don't have to be consecutive. And then listen to the second one. The number two CD in that series is called Balance Your Energy Centers. By the way, I just had a Vietnam vet call me uh, six weeks ago, I believe. His wife had him, me, him call me because he was suicidal. He was about to kill himself. He hadn't slept in 22 years. His PTSD was so severe. And three nights into Balance Your Energy Centers, he started sleeping, and he slept every night since. So I'm pretty happy with that. CD. Super. By the way, is no longer suicidal, of course. The rest of the story's doing fine. He's happy. He works. I mean, yeah, he, he's on his way. Mm-hmm. And so I'd listen to Balance Your Energy Centers for 30 nights, and then I would jump over, you don't even listen to the rest of the series, and get to Advanced Healing, if you want a real quick fix, and listen for one year. It took me... Um, I started that script for Advanced Healing in 1987, and I recorded it, I think, three years ago. It, mm-hmm. it, it took me a while. I mean, mm-hmm. <laughs> it's, 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 that, that one didn't just, you know, I spent 18 years writing Love Yourself. So these, these don't just roll off. You know, you I know. don't decide in the morning, gee, I think next Saturday I'll have a CD on something. That's mm-hmm. not quite the way it happens. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And uh, that Advanced Healing CD I'm extremely pleased with. It's got everything from... Stem cell healing, you name it. There's nothing I left out of that one. Wow, stem and cell I, healing. And I would, uh, I'd leave that one on for a year and just see what happened. Okay, well that's actually, um, we're going to go to your book right quick and then we're going to go right back to your site. Now anyone who's interested in purchasing her book, uh, um, you can go to Amazon.com. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, you can also go to my site, and I will. Da- I will. Uh, you can do a, a PDF. I can email it right out. Okay. You can also go to your site and let's see. I'm gonna watch these videos, testimonials. I'm looking for products. Um, it's up on the top right side. Aha. Uh-huh. Let me see. Loving relationships, power, money, product. Th- Oh, questions, answers, tips, clients, testimonials, research about Terry Mahoney, contact home. Now, do I have your, I have your old, you have your site that says change your mind, change your life. And the very first thing we have is products and services. Then it's questions and answers, tips and suggestions, client stories, testimonials. Research about Terry contact home. Let's see. So if you want to, uh, you can do that or just write, you're on the page with my picture, right? Yes, I am. Right beside my picture where it says healing and wellness, you can click on that and it'll take you right to those healing CDs. Ah, okay. We'll collect it. It's on the healing and wellness CDs. Okay. All right. Definitely, that's it. Now, my producer, he just gave me this one. He wants to uh, talk, w- wants everybody to see your book right quick. At, um, me, I want to talk about how to make straight A's in school. You got it. I happen to have a student success series. You know, that's what I want. That's what parents want to know about. Well, there's a student success series, and it has take tests confidently that is uh, supports that. Well, it's got all the, you know, again, it's got the six titles. I do six titles per topic. And so it's got um, be a master student, take charge at school, study and learn easily, uh, take tests confidently, um, complete projects. I'm leaving one out. What am I leaving out? And it's got to, uh, but it's got to take tests confidently. Well, you know. You know, me being from a uh, trainer perspective, my thing is uh, is results. Okay, so you got yep. your so your success series uh, for school. Okay, making uh, making good grades in school. Tell me about those testimonials. I did a pretest. I, now I'll tell you what surprises me. I thought the student success series was going to fly out the door faster than anything I've ever done. Mm-hmm. It has been my slowest seller. Yeah. But what I did when I first uh, did those scripts, again, I was in Sedona, and one of the high school teachers knew about my work and had worked with them and believed in it. And I told him, I said, I want to do a pre-test, post-test. Can I work with your classes? And Mm -hmm. he said, yes. So I did a pre-test, post-test with high school students. I also did a group of college students up um, uh, up in Flagstaff. Mm Mm-hmm. And the, believe it or not, it shocked even me. Uh, the pre-test, post-test, there was a 67.3% improvement. Mm. Yeah, pretty interesting. Mm-hmm. Uh, that, that's better than I expected, I have to tell you. And, and, you know, I say this to people. I don't make any false claims. I don't make any promises. I don't tell people these things are, you know, going to set their lives on fire. What I do say is for $20, you really can't that's go it. wrong. That's it. That's it. It's $20 yeah. per title. For, that's the you're cheapest not, you can get. You're not willing... If you're not willing to risk 20 bucks to try something, then, then okay. Uh, and, and I get good results. I mean, you know that. I get miracles. I'm extremely pleased with that. But I have to tell you, even I am surprised with the results I get. I have mm-hmm. to tell you that. I mean, mm-hmm. after all of these years and all of these beautiful things that I've had happen and all of these beautiful people that, that are gracious enough to email me back and tell me the wonderful things that have happened in their life, I still go, wow, that is so cool. <laughs> I'm so glad you got that. It is so cool. Yeah, that, you know, and I, and I, I love the work you do, but the work you do, it's slow, it's incremental. I don't mean that as a negative. Mm-hmm. I just mean when you're building the physical body, mm-hmm. it's slow, it's incremental, and you watch for the changes. That's and, it. And and me working with the brain, you know, that's something that brain can flip overnight, and the next day they can be different. Yeah, but I guarantee you, uh, working out with people, they feel it the next day. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'll bet they do. I'll bet 
They do. Yeah. And uh, something's going to change. They know that. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to change. I guarantee you. But that is, yeah, you go, your body's going to change. You can't see the body is an open system, not a closed system. Body is an open mm-hmm. system. We adapt to any type of stress that we apply that's, uh, that's upon it. Whether mm-hmm. if it's spiritually, mentally, or right. physically. You know, so what change your mind actually does, it, although it does uh, pulls out all the stuff from the theta level, all that bad garbage and put in new beliefs and everything. But uh, it's just like going from one form. Uh, you can go from a lower. When you put salt on a vibration thing and put certain music and stuff, it creates a certain pattern. And the higher or the more organized the music becomes, the more beautiful the patterns become. And that, that's what change your life is. OK, you may start off at a low level frequency, but you start you start listening to them. They start listening to the Baroque music at that Largo, what you're talking about. And a lot of people don't know just by listening to the music for 15 minutes, it harmonizes the left and right hemispheres of the brain. So your brain is being harmonized while you're going to sleep simultaneously with that. Well, simultaneously with that, these suggestions and everything start to pull your spiritual energy up to a higher level and a lot of things a lot of people just don't know from the time that you go from one level to the next level there's a cha- there's a time of change there's a time of stress in between those levels that's equivalent to kind of like being sore okay that's why on your DVDs you talk about, oh, that's why on your tape program you talk about give yourself time to re- rest, give yourself time to recover, drink the water and all that other type of stuff. Because metaphorically, it's the same thing as what personal training is, you know. And this is also why you say, well, you know, uh, two tapes is good. One tape is good. Two tapes is challenging. Three tapes, you might be kind of overdoing it a little bit, you know. Oh, don't, yeah, don't, especially if it's the first time. I'll, I'll tell you a story. I have a client who'd worked with me for years, and when the Success Series came out, and by the way, he's a trainer like you. This mm-hmm. is interesting. And he has his own gym. And he said, oh, Success, oh, I need that. He says, can I listen to all those at once? Yeah. And I said, well, <laughs> you, you, know, you, know, you know the problem, you know the program, you know the game. I said, you, you know what processing is. It's whatever you're willing to do. And he decided he wanted to do that, right? Mm-hmm. He didn't get out of bed for five days and couldn't even open the door on his business. <laughs> you know? I mean, it's called... That was a little much, and you are very, very well informed. I don't know if you've read the book, but uh, Candace Pert is just one of my favorite scientists of all time, mm-hmm. and, she, and very readable. Mm-hmm. And she wrote a book called Your Body is Your Subconscious. Mm-hmm. And I just love that book. I okay. just love her making the, the, the connection oh, between yeah. the mind and the yeah. body. Yeah, yeah, it is. Your body, and yoga is actually taught. That all of the body is within the mind. Okay? Mm-hmm. And a lot of people just don't realize. This is why when you visualize yourself the way that you want to be and you begin to lock yourself into it, your body will naturally begin to gravitate towards that. That mm-hmm. is why I tell a lot of my people, it says if you always consider yourself as being overweight while you are training with me, while you're doing everything, if you always consider yourself, as, if you see yourself in your brain as being overweight, when the training stops, which you have your immediate attention at, you will always revert back to the person that you are. Mm-hmm. So if you don't change that, you will always be overweight. That's why you need a hypnosis. That's why you need meditation. That's why you need uh, whatever scriptures or whatever that you are uh, meditating on. Because it says, the Bible basically, it talks about as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. So a lot of people don't know that the brain, they found out, is actually a thinking organism. Yeah, and that's my uh, that's going to be next series next week. We have a person into embraining, and you know what that is, right, Terry? Oh, that's wonderful! That mm-hmm. talk to the three brains. I am yeah. on my uh, Facebook for Train Your Brain for Runners. I'm doing a weekly free tip. Okay, all right. And Super. one of one is how to run in affirmations. Mm-hmm. You know, one's how to write your affirmations, and one is it's based on the embrain. It's not based on it, but it has the same philosophy, mm-hmm. and it's called Talk to Your Three Brains. Yeah, wow, that's going to be like and super. And so for your, for your beta brain, which is your logical uh, beta, you know, brain state, mm-hmm. you use the thinking statements. And for your alpha brain, you use your feeling statements. And for your theta brain, you use your instinctual statements. Right, that's absolutely. Yeah, yeah I just did those. Yeah, I've got those tips written. 
Oh, okay, super, super. Okay, okay we can go on. We got it. My producer let us have another 15 minutes. Hurrah! Yes! Oh, how sweet! Yeah, tell me about it. Oh, wow! <laughs> <laughs> I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Tell him, if, tell him if he's got a question, throw it in here. We'll answer. <laughs> okay, all right. That's cool. Here, what you call it here, get back and um, get back and actually do that as well. All right, now, um, let me see. Now, I'm going to get into my, I'm going to get into my own thing now because I didn't service everybody else time to service me <laughs> good for you what do you want <laughs> okay all right let's go back on to embraining again all right sure. um we go into embraining we talk about the heart's highest the highest expression is um is a uh, one of compassion okay and right. then the brain is the highest expression is creativity and then the gut highest expression is one of courage Okay, so that's how we live is that our heart is supposed to lead our mind, which it is uh, after our mind creates the program or whatever, then courage uh, or the energy part or the instinctual thing actually goes with that. And that's what actually what I got from um, embraining. But my my thing right now is actually I guess I listen to your that's why I like your be proactive uh, tape so much. With in combination with that opening yourself to wealth, because that um be proactive, you know the proactive uh tape uh, CD um mm -hmm. title that you got. What's that exactly again? Uh, that's in the success series. Be proactive. Uh -huh. Be proactive. That to me is more of a gut type thing. Okay, because a lot of times we can have the courage. A lot of times we can have the uh, compassion, and a lot of times we can have the creativity. But just getting off our butts and doing something is what's keeping a lot of people back. OK, we see that in Anthony Robbins said it's the very first thing that we did in his unlimited form, uh, unlimited power formula or six su uh, a success formula is know exactly what you want. And he also added in later on a couple of years later and why he added that mm -hmm. with, to the first one. But then he said provide massive, consistent action towards making it happen. And that's where your gut brain actually comes in, you know. I'm going to give you, I'm going to say yes and no, let me give you some possibilities Okay, here. okay. If the reason, uh, so I'm going to talk about the gut brain in terms of the, the triune brain language, which mm -hmm, is the mm -hmm. reptilian brain. Mm -hmm. So the reptilian brain, which is the part down there at the brain stem at the, you know, at the uh, bottom of your brain, the top of your spinal cord, that's what we call, well, we call it the reptilian brain, because if you took it out of your brain and put it beside a reptile's brain, it'd look identical. It's mm -hmm. called the reptilian brain. But that is instinctual. So that's fight or flight. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that, that's all your instinctual, you know, your, uh, your food, your survival, your sex, um, and your fight or flight, your fear. So if you don't take action out of fear, then yes, it is a gut level issue. Mm -hmm. If you don't take action out of confusion, it would be a different level. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, if so you, let's say I'm let's say I'm just sitting someplace and go, well, I want to start a new business, but I just don't know where to start, and I'm just kind of immobilized. Mm -hmm. That's different from uh, I, I'm afraid of failure, or I'm afraid it won't work, or uh, y you know, that's a different procrastination issue. So very often, because each of us are so interestingly programmed, the same action doesn't necessarily come from the same brain pattern. Yeah, that's absolutely. If that makes sense. Yeah. That's uh, yeah, so that's, and there's, I don't, you're so, you're so well informed, I don't know if you know the heart math stuff, but if you don't, you oh, really yeah, enjoy that's it. very interesting, Go, uh, yeah, yeah about the frequency of the heart math and mm -hmm. whatever, um, uh, but yes, the courage piece, when you use the word courage, you are absolutely in the reptilian brain, the instinctual brain, because that's the fight or flight place, that is how I handle my fear, and especially fear about survival and especially fear about um, group activity, being part of the group, primal, very primal, what we call cult, uh, tribal. What yeah, we would warrior. Call tribal. If we can utilize yeah. that as warrior archetype. Yes, so what we would call, uh, and, and that, that CD I mentioned, number two in the Healing and Wellness series, Balance Your Energy Centers, all of that is in there for each one of it's That's not addressing the brains, that's addressing the chakras, the seven chakras. But all of that language is in there to heal the uh, root chakra, which is equivalent to very close to the reptilian brain or what we're calling the gut brain. You know, when you read enough like you and I do, you can start overlaying everything. Mm -hmm. But that root chakra, when you take care of those fear of 
survival fear issues, you go a long way to take care of procrastination issues. That's absolutely, um, I think that's absolutely positively um, correct on that. Um, from a personal trainer, and there's a lot of perspectives that we can go through for as far as three mm-hmm. brains go. Um, uh, my thing about the courage thing, like I said, is uh, heart, uh, the, the heart would be like an archetypal of a saint or, you know, p- p- people who are compassionate. The mm-hmm. brain would be archetypical of a sage or a person who's a um, um, scholar or something like that, a person who thinks real, real well. So I try to put pictures and stuff in people's minds so that they'll be able to um, be able better to understand when I am talking about embraining um, technology. Uh, what do you think about that? Uh, did I lose you? Hello. You did, but I'm back. How wonderful. <laughs> Super. Okay. Well, I say uh, for a heart, for instance, I would use that of a ar- the archetype saint. For uh, the brain, I would use the archetype sage or theologian. And mm-hmm. for um, for uh, the gut, I would use the archetype of somebody like a warrior type thing. So, mm-hmm. that's, so what do you think about those archetypes, uh, archetypal energies in conjunction with your brain? We just lost her. It's okay. Oh my gosh, I'm having a great conversation. I wonder if she was on the cell phone. Uh, maybe she is, definitely. Now, everybody here, if you're still listening on the um, radio, we're talking about uh, change your mind, change your life. And going on, or another word for that is super sleep. Now, that's the amazing thing. We spend, we spend eight hours a day, six to eight hours a day, okay? Like 33% of our whole life sleeping, okay? Why not take advantage of that in order to change what's actually in our minds and stuff to create the type of lives that we actually want to? The reason that I like Terry's technology, Super Sleep, is because I don't have the time throughout the day to listen to one hour stuff or maybe even read a book or this, that, or other, but everybody got to sleep. It's just as easy as going to change, uh Change your mind, change your life dot com, finding the title that's going to help you with whatever problem that you got that you're going through, and just listening to it every night. And the beautiful thing about it is, is not only does it help you, but it helps everyone in the household. People, listen, this technology could really change your life if you learn how to be, um, if you learn how to be compliant. Compliance basically means is to use it. If you use this technology like I had with the spiders and driving, you know, the boat roof causes a fear. It got the rid of it. It got the rid of the fear for driving for myself. It got the rid rid of the fear for driving, got rid of the fear for spiders, got rid of the fear for actually talking to people. I thought I'd even be on this ready uh, be on this show today if it wasn't for those um if it wasn't for those titles. And we wasn't even talking about fears at the time. We talk I was listening to them basically for success. So um does this technology work? It is a definitely yes. Uh Terry, do we have you back yet? No, she's not back. Okay. Now how about her book, The Ultimate Power to Change Your Life? Uh, the book, The Ultimate Power to Change Your Life. Let's go. Is that Super Sleep? Yeah, it is Super Sleep. Based on break, what is it? Breakthrough Brain Research, the proven method for healing mind, body, and soul. But the the technology and everything that she actually talks. Well, I can go ahead and um, talk. Uh, you see, a lot, every, a lot of people don't know is that for the past few shows that I've actually been doing, we started off with um, we started off with Cindy Smith learning how to detox the body. A lot of people you don't know that we have a physical with these physical toxins and everything that we have in our body actually blocks us from evolving as individuals. Regardless, if a lot of people like to think it's your colon. Uh, I'm in the colon cleansing just because it's colon cleansing. No, I'm not in the colon cleansing because of co- just because of colon cleansing. Because according to Chinese medicine, we've got what we call a um, small circulation and grand circulation. It's the order with our life force energy 
runs throughout their entire body and when our large intestines and everything is clogged it just doesn't it, it our bodies don't flow the way it's supposed to so we got to clean out these vessels and if you see a lot of tribes out there uh, from be it from Native American from Australian from a lot of other things they practice cleansing of one's body out in order that you can adapt in order that you can tap into higher levels of thinking Terry do we have do we have you back we do. We got star crossed. <laughs> it happens. It happens. Now, uh, well, we we already talked about. Well, you may have that a lot. You know, they're having those solar storms, and they said it's the largest one That's that true. has ever been recorded. Eighty thousand miles across. Yeah, I mean everything which happened. Is, which is interrupting telecommunications. But anyway, I apologize that we <laughs> lost. So yes, we're back. Uh, it's okay. I was going over some of um, my past stuff and how I just connect in with uh, uh, how I just connect in with change your mind, change your life. Uh, basically, I was talking about how uh, we talked at the beginning with Cindy Smith about how we got toxins and stuff in our body, and I was telling people how cleaning out the toxins and stuff out your body helps you to be able to uh, access higher levels of learning because a toxic right. body equals a toxic mind. Right. Yeah, so that's very actually important. And then we went on to uh, other things um, like how to utilize essential oils and a lot of people, uh, how to clean out the body uh, through yep. fasting and detoxing and then how to utilize essential oils which actually replace the stuff that we need in order to... Uh, uh, replace it's like an emotional it in, empowers our emotions and everything that we need in order to um, achieve whatever results that we got essential oils actually they work if you get the right ones right Terry oh I love essential oils I carry a lavender in the car you exactly know, you got a kid exactly there's always a scrape in it. and it's amazing to me because wherever we are a kid falls and I just you know say let's get the lavender and it is amazing to me how many people have zero information about them. They go, what is that? What are you putting on him? And I said, well, here, smell it. I go, oh, that smells nice. And I go, yeah, it'll, you know, it's a disinfectant. The kid won't, won't, won't scar. You know, it'll heal it mm -hmm, faster. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I've, I've got lots of aromatherapy. I very much love it. I love the blends. I've, I've gotten to the point I do most of my own blends now, but I love some of the blends. Yeah. That is absolutely true. So that's why I tell is that the more pure your body is, the more these essential oils will, will affect it and enhance it. Am I right? Yes. Okay, and it's just that simple. So a lot of people, I, wa I wonder why I'm into uh, cleansing, detoxing, fasting, and all that other type of stuff. It was because when you do these things, you help to elevate yourself to higher level of conscious thinking and in this time especially in this economy the only way that you can solve a problem especially one of being financially and financially in poverty is to raise your you raise your level of thinking to an even higher level correct i absolutely agree with you and certainly i've had some opportunities you know the first first business i went into i was a white water guide back in the 70s and had my own river business and it didn't make it and I've looked back on that many times and thought, why couldn't I pull that off? You know, I had the, I was the first person to get a, a, a outdoor outdoor travel and do airline books. I mean, I was making all kinds of history, but I wasn't able to pull it off. So I'm going to say a, a yes and a no to that. When I look back on it today, I think it was very simple. If I had stayed on the rivers, I never would have done Change Your Mind, and it just wasn't my <laughs> destiny. <laughs> I hear you. Some things will work for you and some things don't. It's dharma, whatever your and life's purpose. Exactly. And so there's sometimes, and certainly the poverty issue right now is huge uh, for us in this country. Mm -hmm. and, and sometimes for me, and my CDs have been so helpful with this, mm -hmm. sometimes I just have to look at something and go, I have to let that go because I didn't belong there. I have a client, I've known her since 1989, we were talking last week. She's had a 20-year goal of making it in real estate and she hasn't made it. So I said, and she's listened to the money series and the success series, so I said to her last week, you know, we're at a point where we have to say one of two things. Either you're trying the wrong thing <laughs> and you need to let it go, mm -hmm. or you're going to be rewarded because you've stayed in the trenches, and only you are going to know the answer to that. There you go. Consistency. And consistency. she did a release on that, and within three days had a new business that is already taking off. And that's what I, that is one of the a lot of people not but but the interesting thing excuse me for interrupting Go it's ahead. not real estate it's mm -hmm. not what she set her mind on for twenty years and absolutely insisted she was going to do 
That's not what it. That's not where she ever belonged. And that, that kind of thing fascinates me. It actually does too. That's why um, my research into the Sedona method about learning how to hold on to things and then what you yep. become aware of things and then you accept things, then you embrace it, and then you just simply you just let it go. You know, yeah. you just have to get to where you don't get a hoot, you know, and have to be able to uh, align yourself with the voice of God, the voice of the universe or whatever yeah. for the correct paths that you got to go. So one thing I was talking with people, I said, hey, you fast, clean all the toxins out your body, use yeah. essential oils in order to help to counteract the healing crisis that you're actually going through when you're actually detoxing your body fasting or whatever and also to enhance your mental faculties and then we're on the third level with you is to use super uh, use super sleep use change your mind change uh, change your life while you're listening to this while you're utilizing your essential oils and while you're detoxing simultaneously because by listening to it it helps to align your body align your mind to prosperity and for finding whatever your dharma is your path to wherever you need to grow that much more faster. And then next week we're going over the embraining techniques, uh, uh, um, how to do the, um, what to do during the day. So we're actually using um, your super sleep as laying out a foundation. Actually, I believe just to put it into your language and what you're saying, it detoxes the mind. It does. It does. It does. It absolutely so what, does. So what that's you know that's what I believe it has detoxed mm -hmm. my mind and of course I've been doing it so many years I look back on it and I've done so many individual personal recordings for myself over the years I just used to have four inch notebooks filled with scripts I finally threw them away one day I can't imagine who I was before I did it and I can't imagine who I would be if I hadn't done it I can't mm -hmm. my brain can't mm -hmm. even go to who would that person be today? Can I don't have any clue who she'd be. You know, it, is lavender actually uh, going on to, is lavender, is the, a lot of times people have uh, problems going to sleep when they're listening to your right. tape. Right. Is essential oil lavender great for helping helping that issue or can you make any that's, other that's suggestions? A, that is an excellent recommendation. Okay. All right. So excellent. But also remember that it for many people it takes three nights to. You're a hypnotist, so you mm -hmm, know this. Mm -hmm, for mm -hmm. many people, it takes three nights to entrain the brain. Number mm -hmm. one, they're listening to music. Number two, we, and the music is disturbing the brain. Mm -hmm. So, like you said earlier, this music changes the frequency of the brain. Uh, remember the research project I talked about earlier, the uh, the weight loss project mm -hmm, in mm -hmm, Colorado. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, the mm -hmm. people listening to music only lost more weight than the people listening to the to the subliminal with the male voice mm -hmm. the music alone put them in a relaxed enough state that That's they could it. lose weight that is it that is absolutely and so when people are listening to my recordings first their their heads just getting totally messed around with the music <laughs> Then their head's getting totally messed around listening to some person. Mm -hmm. Then their head is getting totally messed around listening to these extremely deep core level impacting statements that mm -hmm. I use. So mm -hmm. yeah, it can be mm -hmm. pretty, pretty difficult to sleep. And the other thing that happens, uh, very, very common, is if a person does fall asleep, when the CD gets to a point in the script, if there's a statement in the script somewhere that hits their core issue, it'll bring them straight up out of sleep. Wow. Okay, I'll take note of that. Because, yeah, because what happens is they go, they've go, they got this theta message in there that's their long-term memory, and it's their, their self-image or whatever it is, and it's in there, it's protecting itself, and this new statement starts to come in, and the old statement says, I'm not going there. You can't get into theta with me. We, You know, this... And this town is too small for both of us. It's that, that kind of a thing. A, you know, okay. this, this state of brainwave state's too small for both of us. I'm the king here. I'm going to win. You don't get in. And it will bounce the person out of theta so that message can be And let me tell you about this most supernatural thing. I was like, I was reading on your website how a lot of time when you're doing stuff, uh, when you're uh, creating these um, uh, these themes or when you're writing stuff down, the equipment actually starts to malfunction. Now, the right. interesting thing about that is I had the tapes for years, okay? I haven't pushed no erase on these tapes are like a hundred dollars for like what, uh, five, like six tapes or whatever in there, like that. So I got right. tapes. but somehow some of my tapes has managed to erase themselves. I'll tell you what's been interesting for me around that very erasure issue in blank. Back in about 93, I had a gentleman in Canada who bought my empowerment series. Actually, he just bought one. He bought Heal Your Childhood. 
And on day three, he called me just screaming, saying, you know, this thing is horrible and it's making me sick, which is not an unusual response for someone who has extreme, extreme abuse. Mm -hmm. Uh, This gentleman was a Native American gentleman who had been raised in a community of, unfortunately, just a lot of alcoholism and abuse. And, well, the first time, I'm sorry, the first time he listened to it, he called me and he was furious and he said, I paid all that money, I'm waiting for this, and you sent me a blank tape. I said, oh, my gosh, I'm so sorry. I, it must be defective. You know, it's the first time it happened that I understood this. I said, throw it away. I'll get you another one in the mail. And I did. And he called me back furious. He said, this one's blank, too. And I said, that, that's amazing that I would have two defective. Let me check with the people making my tapes. And then something just, I don't know why I said, I will get a new one out to immediately. Do me a favor and send me that one back so I can check it. And before I sent him the third one, I listened on my machine. It played perfectly. Mm -hmm. So now you know what the end of the story is going to be. He got the third one, swore it was blank. He mailed me back the second one. They would play in my house and not his. Wow. I have had that happen more than you know. Wow. And didn't you say that also when you're doing a um, session with somebody that you'll see, you look at um, equipment malfunction to find out which statements we need to work on the most? Yes. And now, this is the only negative with having the new technology. When we had the audio tapes, if you woke up in the middle of the night, you could, or if it blanked, you could just stop the tape, and then you could time it, and you could, I mean, you could, you could play the next statement, and you would know exactly which statement did it. We can't do that with the, with the CDs and the MP3s. You know, mm-hmm. there's that. I just, it's not as easy. I have a gentleman in the Philippines, I believe it was, who got "Love Yourself" when it was still tapes, and he wrote me and he said, "I read your website." He said, "I really didn't believe all of this," and he said, "My tape has blanked out on one statement only." So all three times it was repeated. He said, "I've read your script very carefully, listened to the tape to find out where it is," and he said, "It was the exact statement that is my core issue." Wow. Wow. And he said, "That is where my tape blanks out," and I said, "That is correct." And I said, so we have two things you can try. I said, give it a couple of days, see if it has integrated, play the tape again and see if it plays. And if not, you know, then get another tape. But that's exactly right. He waited three days, played it again, and the statement played. Super. Okay, um, Terry, that that sounds totally amazing. Now, wrapping the show up, can you tell us at least one of your best stories um, in your experience dealing with this technology? Uh, with people having personal changes or with machines? Uh, if people having personal changes, that's what everybody want to hear about. <laughs> oh, gosh. That, that puts me in I such know, a bind because I've just got millions of them going through my head. Um, the most, uh, I can't believe that actually happened. Because anything that topped the glass one. Oh, you can't top the glass one. Yeah. I've, got two, I've got two women clients this year, both of whom were told were terminally ill with cancer. Both are alive and well and healthy and cancer-free. I'm pretty happy with that. Wow, that is absolutely, totally amazing. Anybody actually get rich off listening to your opening the wealth type thing? Uh, interestingly, I had one fellow back in about 1986. He wanted to have a fleet of fishing ship vessels. Don't ask me why. Mm-hmm. And uh, we made a custom tape for him it went 12 pages long it was quite an ordeal for me to write but he did end up six months later with his fishing fleet um i had a fella call me interestingly just about three days ago haven't seen him since 1992 um he is now he's on his way to china to raise two million dollars for a new high-tech um uh company that he's backing uh Mm -hmm. i don't know if he'll raise it i'm just reporting back Mm -hmm. uh Get rich. <laughs> I don't. I don't know that people just don't email me back on that, or if the people looking for that don't contact me. I get a lot more. I'm so okay with where I am. Yeah, yeah, and that's one of the things that you talked about is about being grat- not so much how fast we grow, it's just being gratuitous about where we at and the way that we are developing. And I, I'd tell a personal story here. You know, my business is down. It went down with the economy. I got caught in that real estate thing. Um, mm-hmm. Put my my house, which was supposed to be my retirement, put it on the market for nine eighty five. It closed at five twenty five. So mm-hmm. once you do the math on that one, that wasn't great. Mm-hmm. And fortunately, it wasn't a fort of close. You know, I didn't do short sale. I didn't do foreclosure. I mean, my credit is clean and everything. But it was a 
I, I took a huge, huge loss of money during those years. And again, this is going to be a spiritual overlay. Mm-hmm. So I sat, you know, in my prayer, meditation, whatever you want to call it, you know, crying out to my God or whatever language people would say. And I'd say, you know, I worked hard, and I saved my money, and I did all that all my life, and then everywhere I put my money, you know, I'm seeing it not work, and I've listened to my money series. What, what happened? Why, you know, where did I go wrong? Am I, you know, giving people CDs that don't work? And basically the message I got was, what would you be doing right now if all of that was still in place? And I said, nothing. I'd be fully retired. And the answer was, exactly, we want you Wow. Okay. And that goes in class. If you ever took the silver mind control method, that's the uh, yes. one of the things that they talked about with um, Jose Silva is the two things um, yep. that he got. is number one, our dharma or divine purpose in life. That's yep. the first one that he wanted to learn is being students of uh, silver mind control. And the second one was basically was the three, mem- the three mirror technique um, that they really purport. Remember those, right? Yes. Okay, yeah. I read his, I was in Texas, I read that stuff a hundred years you ago. You know what I mean? You know, it's like that super stuff. sleep. But yeah, I started with that, with the Sedona method, I mean, with the, uh, with uh, the silver mind control and also with the, um, with uh, super sleep. So yeah, you know, I was, I was, I was there like what you call it at the very beginning. Okay, we're going to have, we're going to go ahead and wrap the show up. Uh, anything else that you would like to say, Terry? I want to thank you so much, first, for being such an active proponent of Super Sleep and helping me get the word out about heel bullying. That is so, um, I'm just so grateful to you for doing that. And you are so knowledgeable. I just want to tell your public how lucky they are to have someone so knowledgeable. Well, I, I, thank you, Terry. I really appreciate that. Okay, everyone, for a rewrap of, a t- for, could you hold on, please? Terry, if you don't mind, just stay on the line when the show's over. Sure. Can you hear me? Yep. All right, great. Go ahead, Al. I'm sorry. Okay, super. All right, um, let's go ahead and recap. Uh, like I said, Terry, you are totally amazing. I don't think I would be the man that I am today without listening to your voice every night. <laughs> 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 I'll come whisper in your I'll ear. That. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, let's go ahead and recap the show. Very first thing that we start off is uh, train your brain for runners. Okay, uh, we got Terry Mahoney, PhD. She says she helped two professional athletes in order to help to do a lot better in their careers. One who went from zero to being a hero. One that was actually hurt, who actually got better and everything like that. Now we present a challenge to any professional team out there, be it NBA, NFL, or even NHL, or anyone out there, to put Terry Mahoney's Change Your Mind, Change Your Life, Super Sleep to the test to actually see if it'll work for you. And I'm rooting for if there are any Carolina Panthers out there or if anyone who's associated with the Carolina Panthers uh, out there to please contact Terry Mahoney, Super Sleep, change your mind, change your life, and see if we can go to the championships, okay? Uh, number two is if, uh, Tiger Woods, if you're out there, somebody get in contact with him, i like to see him use that because i like to see him back on um, top again. All right, um, anybody out there who want to learn how to increase their running speed who is competitive uh, running like uh, she said before one of the testimonials one of the ladies listen to uh, listen to the program cut 15 minutes off her time that's totally amazing if any of you out there who runs know that running is a mind game Running is a mental game. You've learned how to prepare yourself with the running, with the exercise, with the, with the eating, all that other type stuff. But what have you done to prepare your mind to get rid of the self-doubt and to put, give yourself the laser focus that is needed to increase your time and to achieve your goals, whatever that that is? This is very simple. You just listen to this every night and there's a very strong possibility that your time could get faster okay isn't that worth just uh, isn't that worth the investment all right we're going over to number two is healbullying.org it's www.heal h-e-a-l bullying b-u-l-l-y-i-n-g dot org terry mahani phd has actually offered a free six tape a free six title series that anyone 
out there who's going through bullying issues can use in order to elevate their consciousness to be able to overcome whatever obstacle that is opposing you at this time. Also, those who are involved in any type of domestic violence issue may want to take advantage of this as well as this may, as this may help you to evolve to the point where you can stand up for yourself or even create a uh, turn a lemon and eliminate. You never know. If both y'all listen to it and he doesn't know about it, whatever, maybe he get over his bullying issues and y'all can have the loving relationship that you're looking for. Again, that's www.heal, H-E-A-L, bullying, B-U-L-L-Y-I-N-G, dot org. All right? Please, parents, if you're out there, even if you think your child is not going, uh, getting bullied, a lot of times children, it happened to me. Uh, a lot of times you get bullied and you don't even tell anybody something. It's something that you suffer by yourself and you don't, you don't share with other people. Any trainers and stuff out there like I was, uh, if you got any clients who you may suspect uh, of going any type of domestic violence and you really don't want to get involved with that type of thing, just recommend to listen to the free download the titles um, for, for the bullying type thing or just take the self-esteem thing. And just ask them to listen for that and increase their self-esteem for maybe for training. Which would then go over into whatever issue that they're actually going for. Again, that's www.healbullying.org. Now we're going to her basic site on Change Your Mind, uh, Change Your Life. Where she has a bunch of series. She talks about empowerment. She talks about healing and wellness. She got to the point, people, all right, a person has glass in their head after a car accident and the body actually pushes the glass outside of their head. That's pretty amazing. If it can work for that, maybe listening to that type of stuff will heal a lot of the other issues as well. Because that you know is that a lot of this stuff could be psychosomatic. The most powerful healer of the body is the mind. You're sleeping eight hours every night. Why not take advantage of that? Loving relationships, you may want to live that. Loving partnership, money, okay? Make money while you sleep, as I was like, uh, I, I was uh, reading uh, when I was researching Terry. You may want to go do that. Like, you got six to eight hours, why not take advantage of the time? She also got student success. A lot of y'all kids out there, or even college students, may not be doing as good in school as you want to. You don't got no enough time to learn test skills and study techniques and whatever like that. Just get the series, listen to it every night, and watch what happens with your grades. Okay, why not the little invest twenty dollar investment? Why not a little buy the whole series and say? But you know, I say the twenty dollars investment because it takes twenty it takes twenty one to thirty days to go over one take. After you go over twenty one, after you purchase one seri- uh, one um, title and do it for twenty one to thirty days, you know if you want to invest in getting the rest according to your grades and everything. So why not? And also basically for success for making more money. These um, these um, titles they actually do work. When you are sleeping, okay, they have actually found out when people's having surgery, why they're sleeping, that they have people who give uh, these uh, physicians or something can make a suggestion in your ear or something like that, that can literally transform your life if you do the research on that. So yeah, can you change your mind while you're, tra- uh, change your mind while you're sleeping or make cha- Yes, you can. Parents, please take advantage of these tapes. Let your kids listen to them in order that they can become the type of people that you've always wanted to. In order that when you get old and great, if you haven't got where you're supposed to be, that they can support you. Look, in the, look at that towards being an investment. Okay, everyone, we covered those three topics. And, um, man, we had such a wonderful show. Um, again, my name is Malik L. Um, the host of Health Awareness Talk for uh, www.surbroadcast.com. Dot com again um, I interview with Miss Terry Mahani PhD uh, one of the greatest minds of the world in my opinion because she's basically the only one doing it and please everyone if this technology really has hit home with you and this is something that you can see yourself doing long in the future to change many of people's lives please contact Terry Mahoney at um at her website or at her telephone number again www.changeyourmindchangeyourlife.com contact her until it says hey I want to be a part of this I want to be a part of your vision I want to help people all over the world I want to do what you do Terry contact her and become a facilitator as well alright Terry like you have anything you want to add one more 
I couldn't possibly follow up on that. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, sir. Like thank I say, you, thank you so much. You will, like I say, I like hearing your voice. I like hearing a, a, a beautiful woman's voice in my ear every night. It really helps self-esteem, you know. Perfect. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, everyone. Uh, have a wonderful night, and uh, God bless. Well, universe too.